welcome to 20 for 20. My name is John Cavula with the Elks National Foundation. Today, I'm joined by Caitlin Gartrell, a 2020 Top 20 Most Valuable Student Scholar, sponsored by Silverton, Oregon, Lodge number 2210. Thank you so much for joining us today, Caitlin. Hi. Um, first, to start off, can you just introduce yourself and tell us where you're from? Um, so I'm Caitlin Gartrell. I'm from Molino, Oregon, and I go to Canby High School. Very cool. Um, so where are you planning to go to college and what are you going to study? So next year I will be going to Pepperdine University and I will be studying biology on a pre-med track. Okay. Why did you, why did you want to go into pre-med? Um, because pre my goal is to become a pediatric oncologist since I was inspired by my journey with cancer when I was younger. Oh, would you mind talking a little bit more about that if you don't mind sharing? Sure. Um, when I was three years old, I was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, and I went through chemotherapy for three years. And ever since then, I've been doing a lot of volunteer work with other kids with cancer. And so after talking to my own pediatric oncologist, I was inspired to become one down the road. So That's yeah. awesome. Thank you. Um, so what, you said you did a lot of volunteer work. Like what kind of volunteer work um, have you done? Uh -huh. So I do a lot of work with this nonprofit called Candlelighters for Kids with Cancer, and they basically help put on events for kids that have cancer so like, they can connect with other kids like them and just like get out of the house and have fun since a lot of times they, have, they don't have that kind of opportunity when they're on treatment. And so just a lot of stuff like that and like raising money to help them pay for different things or like we had like a toy drive that we did for like to give them the Christmas that they wanted and stuff. So just a lot of stuff like that. That's very cool. How did you choose Pepperdine? Um, I'm super involved with Young Life. And after doing a summer of work crew, I realized that I wanted to go to a Christian university. And so Pepperdine being that was a huge draw. And also just the level of academics that they have there really drew me in. And so I've decided that that's the place for me. <laughs> Very cool. I've never been, but I heard it's beautiful there. Mm -hmm. um, so you said you volunteered a lot. What does service mean to you? Um, I'd say service is just like a part of my life. Like I've always done it. It's like supernatural. It's just something I am constantly doing. It's like woven into my everyday life. And I think it's really important. And it's like a foundation for like giving back to others and like, relating to other people and stuff. And so I feel like I've met some of my favorite people through service projects and giving back and stuff. That's awesome. What are some of your favorite projects other than um, working with the uh, kids in oncology? Um, another one of my service projects, work crew. Um, I did that through Young Life where I spent an entire month serving food to campers as they were introduced to God. And so that was really cool for me to, it's com we work for completely free and all you do is just serve food to kids and you work like 16 hour days and it's super fun, but you get to see a lot of kids grow and stuff and it's really cool. Um, so that's probably another one of my favorite service projects. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Um, so what would you say um, up to this point in your life is your proudest achievement? Um, I would say I'm the most proud of my dance team. And although it's not like me by myself, we've won the state championship for the past five years. Oh, wow. And that's been a lot of hard work for a lot of people. And so I'm super proud of that. And although it's not like a personal accomplishment, maybe I'm really, really proud of the people that I've got to grow up with and grow with over the past four years. And so I'm really proud of the accomplishments that we've done through that. Very cool. Um, so what are some other things you're passionate about other than dancing? So I'm also super involved in 4-H. So I have a bunch of farm animals at my house that I've showed throughout the years. Um, I, in high school, I also did FFA with those animals. Um, I did Future Business Leaders of America, which was super fun because the whole business and stuff is really interesting to me. Um, I'm also super passionate about um, art. I'm kind of an amateur artist, I'd say. <laughs> Do you like drawing or painting? 
or both anything especially in quarantine <laughs> <laughs> yeah have you had any other um hobbies you picked up during during this quarantine um reading i've definitely read more than i have in a while <laughs> um and then drawing and painting for sure in quarantine um i also sing and dance since i was like a infant i'd say like i grew up singing and dancing mm. that's where the dance team comes from and then i was in my high school choir for three years and so yeah music okay. is a huge part of my life that's awesome um what kind of farm animals do you have or do you just have like a do you have like a specific kind of farm or do you just have everything <laughs> um so we have three goats um three rabbits a guinea pig some chickens and then dogs and cats like the normal um yeah it's a small farm <laughs> what do you guys do what do you guys do on your farm? Is there like something specific you grow? I don't know a lot about farming, so <laughs> well, it's just like our little farm for our animals that we show for 4-H and F of it. That's so. awesome. Mm -hmm. Um, so what are you most looking forward to um doing in college next year or in the next four years? Um, I'm most looking forward to going back to normal classes that are <laughs> <not> online probably <laughs> and like seeing people in person. Um but other than that, I just look forward to like learning in a new place from like the amazing professors at Pepperdine and getting to do like some, they have some really, really cool research opportunities that I'm really excited for, where you get to jump into that during undergrad. And so I'm super excited for that. Um, and also like the beaches in Malibu because. Yeah, <laughs> there's definitely a, definitely a nice added touch there. Mm -hmm. um, so what is being an Elk Scholar going to help you do with your future? So being a scholar, the scholarship is really going to help me pay for my school because to be a pediatric oncologist, that's like 13 years of school. So I will be very far in debt. And so this helps out tremendously to help me pay for schooling and take that burden off just a little bit so that I can really focus on my academics and not have to worry about the finances quite as much. Awesome. Um, what was your part of the uh, top 20 virtual leadership weekend? Um, probably meeting everyone. Like all the other candidates are super cool. Um, probably one of my favorite parts was the game night that we did. We stayed up for like seven hours playing mafia and <laughs> online games. And I didn't expect to like stay on for that long, but the time just flew by and it was super awesome to get to know the other scholars. That's awesome. Yeah, I heard the when I was back at work on Monday, they were like, yeah, they were up there till like three in the morning, like Eastern time. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Awesome. Um, so what were you doing when you found out that you were going to be uh, one of the top 20 Elk Scholars? Um, I remember I had just finished taking like a math quiz <laughs> online. And then I looked at my email and I was like, oh, wow, this just like makes my whole day better. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm -hmm. um, so what makes you an Elk Scholar? Um, I would say I've done a lot of service and I've put a lot of work into my academics so that I can be one of the best coming into the next generation, I'd say. And so just doing a lot of service and putting a lot forward and really embodying what the Elks is looking for and like what they really mean. And so yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a great answer. Um, finally, if you could say anything to the Elks watching, what would you say? I just, just want to say thank you. Like, this scholarship means so much more than you even know. Like, I just want to thank you guys. And everyone that I've met so far has been so nice and amazing and helpful. And I just want to thank everyone for helping me get this far. And helping me continue my journey because it really, really means a lot. Awesome. Well, we're glad to have you as a member of the Elks family. Thank um, you. So that's all I have. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Um, and to all our viewers out there tuning in, um, if you like the show, hit the like and subscribe buttons um, to our YouTube channel. Thank you for helping us build stronger communities and connecting with the hashtag Elks family. See you next time. <laughs>